Yoda Master has sent me another thing. It's been a little while since I did a review of one of their docs. They reached out and they asked me if I wanted to do a review of a uh, USB 4 doc, 40 gigabit per second. I mean, obviously I'm gonna say yes, that's fantastic. I love these things. This one here has a little fan built in. It's a slimmer style, but uh, that fan should help move some heat through. Very nice. Overall, I've had very good experience with Yoda Master, so uh, we'll open it up and have a look here. Uh, typically, I find this stuff easy to set up. Some thermal pads, the SSD, some little connectors, uh, the USB-C to C slash A. So if you don't have a USB-C, connector you can go with a now a won't run as fast uh, because on your computer itself it won't but that's fine so this, oh, this is nice it's a nice metal chassis so that alone will get some of the heat off it's got a little window very nice uh, USB-C connector on the back there now the UVS4 nice just open vent there so it should blow the air through oh yeah yeah you just slide it like that so that's where you want to press from rather than pull up looks good that's that there a little bit of PCBs there so the fan it's gonna blow up that way. So it's gonna pull air in along the SSD, not push. So it's gonna pull air in along the SSD into the fan. It'll pull down because along the plastic into there and then it will shoot it out there. That's essentially what'll happen. That's fine. Okay, so we'll put that in there. And I guess we'll hook this up here to start. Some companies use like little rubber things. Uh, the only problem with the little rubber things is they fall out, so. Uh, I actually lost one recently on one of my cheaper ones. That locks in. Uh, very nice. Right. So I mean, just this alone is just going to give you some passive cooling as it is uh, into this heat shield here. So we'll get a decent amount. And the thing is those radiator uh, kind of pipes run that way. So that pull the air through throughout the whole device, basically into that fan and then out the back over here. Okay, so we're plugged in here. I have a couple spots here. Here's the SK Hynix and Hardware Info. We have the same SSD in Crystal Disk Mark just because I mean, two is better than one. And we'll just check the speeds here. Yeah, so there's very fast. 3800 right off the bat. That's actually, damn, that's actually, I think, the fastest USB 4 I've ever tested. That is really fast. Normally it gets like 3000 to 3200. That is very fast. Okay, so we did our first round of tests here. Let's zoom in slightly. Uh, just finished right now. The temperature on the drive was like, uh, I guess like really pretty low. Right now it's sitting at about 59, 54, 53 after that long test. Okay, so we're moving some stuff here. It looks like we're gonna do about 32 gigabytes. Uh, this is like Windows crap, so a lot of it's really small. Uh, but what we're gonna do here is write for a little while and then we'll come back. And basically I just wanna see the temperature. So we'll come in here, we'll look at uh, you know what it's getting up to right now so let's just get a quick look in here yeah, and uh, it may not you may not be able to hear it on camera but i can hear the air coming out it's not like blasting air out uh, but there definitely is air coming out of it let's move it right up to the mic if i can move the mic in just blow air into it yeah so we're hitting 60 um so it's definitely you know moving a lot of data here you know, 30 40 gigabytes you're gonna get a little bit of a hot temperature here but we're moving you know usb4 speeds here so it's okay. No critical warning, just like a general warning. 61 is actually not bad, but we'll come back. I'm just gonna let it run for a while. Okay, so it's been a little bit of time. Let's just come and we'll do a refresh again. Most of these drives, I don't know why this thing warns at 61. I don't really know, because most of these drives, uh, they're supposed to operate about under 70, basically, or 71, 72, and then under that. So um, we'll just basically see here. Um, it's okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just stop that for a sec. So we'll just kill that off and I'll just do the opposite. So I'm going to come in here and pull stuff off of the SSD. Okay. And that's that. Do a quick refresh here. Yeah. Okay. It, oh, just the second it finished, it went down. Okay. That was like two seconds ago. So, uh, when it's under maximum load, uh, it sits at about 63, 64, which is absolutely blasting it. Just throwing data on, throwing data off. So you can see here, it does say USB 4. It was really fast. It said USB 4 uh, capabilities will be limited, which makes sense. I'm plugged into the USB A now. So the thing is, this cable and this device is USB 4, but my port here, like USB A doesn't have that speed. Um, it's a 10, I think it goes 10 gigabit per second. So, I mean, I'm not expecting this to, by any means whatsoever, get that type of speed. Um, so yeah, obviously I just wanted to prove the point that uh, this will drop down in speed um, basically to the speed of your USB-A. Um, USB-A typically caps out at uh, 10 
gigabit per second, gigabyte per second. So that'll give you faster than this. That'll give you about a thousand. I just don't have a device actually right now that has that speed. Mine are typically like USB four, and then the USB A's are just like five gigabyte per second. Um, so basically, yeah. So this device here is going to basically give you really fast speeds over USB C. USB A it'll be limited to the speed of your USB A because the device itself is massively overkill for a USB A port. So basically, whatever your laptop can support over USB A, that's the speed you're going to get. Okay, so I guess that's that. Uh, what do I think of this device here? Uh, it's definitely smaller than some of the other uh, USB 4 that I have with a fan. It's about the size of some of the USB 4 that I have without a fan. Whether you need a fan or not is going to be up to you. Um, just be aware that if you get a USB 4 enclosure without a fan, they can run hot, just so you know. Um, like, you know, they'll get hot real fast. And then you're basically going to just, you'll get the, it won't damage the drive, but it'll throttle down to whatever, you know, like the, the actual enclosure itself can soak up. Um, if they don't actually have any connection to the outer chassis, then it will actually get like really hot. Um, so you're going to need some type of, um, you know, temperature moving from the SSD into either the case itself or evacuating out of the fan. Uh, with a fan like this, I mean, this thing's not ripping. I've had some that are really loud. Uh, and they definitely evacuate heat fast, but they're also really loud and it's kind of annoying. Um, this is kind of in the middle ground, I would say. So you, the fan is on, you can hear it, but it's not super loud or anything like that. It's kind of just there. This is the fastest USB 4 NVMe enclosure I've tested to date, period. Uh, I've tested many of them. Usually they sit at around 3000 megabytes a second or sometimes 3200 max. This thing hit like 36, 3700. I've never seen a USB 4 enclosure personally run that fast. So this is a blazingly fast device here. So um, to be honest, I mean, if you're doing like 4K video editing, like really, really demanding positives, all metal chassis, uh, cost is relatively low compared to some other ones that you can get on the market. Uh, it does the air, I mean, it's not moving a ton of air, but it does definitely bring some air through, which keeps it cooler. And it's very fast, very, very fast. Um, so there you go, that's the review there. Uh, it's all gonna come down to what you're looking for. I will leave some links to their website down below in the video description. I don't have any affiliation, so they won't be affiliate links. If I can find this on Amazon, I'll put some um, links down to Amazon as well, which would be affiliated through Amazon, not through Yodamaster, uh, which does help me out with my channel because I buy most of the stuff I review, especially laptops, which are super expensive. Um, so that's something to consider. Um, but yeah, we'll put some links down below. I think it is a very nice NVMe enclosure. It's very fast. The only thing, the only consideration I would say decide on is do you want one with a fan, which means you're going to get better performance, better speeds. You know, you saw how fast it is. Uh, if you don't care about that, I guess you could just get one without a fan, but then it kind of defeats the point. Good product here from Yodamaster. Uh, yeah, if you want to get it, check it out. Uh, links down below.